Hello, I'm Aaron Marino from Alpha M Image Consulting. Before we get started today, I would like to first offer my deepest sympathy to the Japanese people who have been affected by the tragedy and the natural disaster that has taken place over the course of the past few days. It is absolutely heartbreaking watching the footage of the aftermath of the earthquake and tsunami. So for the next five seconds, I would like to just take a little time out and say a little prayer for the people of Japan. I don't care who you pray to. It might be baby Jesus. It might be God. It might be Allah. It might be Krishna. It might nam myoho renge kyo It might be to nobody because you're an atheist and you don't believe in that kind of stuff. Regardless, let's take a little bit of time and say a prayer for the people. They need it. If you don't want to, just hang out. And I understand, but you are a jerk off. Here we go. So have you ever heard the term smoking hot? Maybe you've used it to refer to somebody who's absolutely beautiful, gorgeous, handsome, whatever it is. Maybe somebody has referred to you as smoking hot. Well, I got news for you, gentlemen. There is nothing hot about smoking. So today we're talking about smoking and hopefully give you some ideas of how you can kick the habit. Now let me start off by saying there is nothing more annoying than somebody who has not faced the same issues or problems as you trying to tell you how you should fix it or how you should live your life or how you should cure your problems. Like someone who's never drank a drop of alcohol trying to tell an alcoholic how he should stay sober. Or like some naturally thin person who's got great genetics, luck of the draw, trying to tell somebody who's obese, who's 450 pounds, how they should just put down the food and not eat so much. So now you're asking, Aaron, are you telling us that you used to be a smoker? No, I have asthma. I couldn't smoke. However, for about 15 years, I was addicted to nicotine through the use of smokeless tobacco. Very few people know that from the age of 18, I actually started using snuff or, or smokeless tobacco dip. And I knew it was gross, but up until about four months ago, I couldn't quit. It had a hold on me like nothing. I, I mean, literally, I was incredibly addicted. I used to dip about a can of snuff a day. Um, and that's the nicotine equivalent of about three packs of cigarettes. To say I was addicted was an understatement. So for the past four months, I have been nicotine free and feeling fantastic. So I thought it was time, since I can actually say that I don't use tobacco anymore, that we should do this video. It's something that I've been thinking about for a long time, but until I could say that I was nicotine free, that I've kicked the habit, I wasn't about to try and preach it to you because I wasn't and am not a hypocrite. So let's get down to business. Now for this video, I'm gonna use the term smoking as basically all nicotine addictions. I just don't feel like breaking it down individually. So smoking, that's the word of the day. Now I realize that the majority of you out there are smarter than me. You never picked up the habit. But that doesn't mean you can't get something from this video. Think of nicotine and smoking basically just as one addiction. There are hundreds of addictions out there. And so maybe you are struggling with something and this video can give you some tools to help overcome whatever you're addicted to or battling. And I know there are some of you out there that are thinking smoking is cool. You are stealing cigarettes from your friends, from your parents, going out behind the barn. <laughs> Do people have barns anymore? <laughs> behind the house, behind the school, smoking your cigarettes, thinking you're awesome. Well, guess what? You are not awesome. You are not cool. It is disgusting. So are you going to get cancer if you smoke or use tobacco? Possibly. Could you smoke or use tobacco for 80, 90 years and die of a toenail infection? Yes. But uh, the fact of the matter is, I don't want to chance it and I don't want you to chance it. So why do I care if you smoke or don't smoke? I don't have to kiss you. And I don't have to smell you. Because I care about you. Smoking isn't sexy, smoking isn't cool, smoking isn't hot. If I see some beautiful woman across the room at a bar or just somewhere and I'm like, damn girl, and all of a sudden I see her light up, I'm like, oh, no way, I'm moving on. Now, if I drink enough, I still might hit it, but I'm not dating her. 
And when I'm out and I see a guy, and he might be dressed to the nines, really handsome guy, but if he lights up a cigarette, I'm like, oh, dude, you're a dirt ball. Smoking makes you stink like shit. And not even like shit, like cigarette smoke. I think poop smells better than somebody who smokes a lot. Gosh, cigarette smoke gets in your clothes, it gets in your hair, it gets in your breath, it gets everywhere. If you're a smoker, everything you own, whether you know it or not, smells like smoke. And no matter how much mouthwash, how much gum, how much you brush your teeth or scrub your tongue, your breath still smells like smoke because it's in your lungs. It stains your teeth and your hands. And over time, it ages your face. You don't want to look like this guy, do you? He's 38! And let's not forget how expensive it is. Man, if you smoke a pack a day, that's like $5. At the end of the month, that's like $150. What I could do with $150 and what I do with $150? Brand new shoes. Or a great blazer. A few blank label shirts. Like two pairs of jeans. If you took that $150 each month that you were saving and bought something new for you, for your wardrobe, by the end of the year, you would be looking fresh. All right, so you're addicted. How do you quit? Now, a lot of experts say that quitting nicotine is one of the hardest things you will ever do. They say that quitting nicotine is harder than quitting hard drugs like heroin. Well, I don't know about that because I've never done heroin, but it isn't easy, but it can be done. I'm here to tell you. If I can quit, you can quit. Trust me. Now, it didn't matter how many times my mother or my wife or my friends would say, Aaron, you need to quit that. It's bad for you. It's bad for you. I know, I know. I knew it was bad for me but I couldn't put it down until one day I decided. And then they say that, you know, until you're ready to quit, you're not going to. You can stop, but if you're not really committed to the process of quitting and living nicotine free, you're not going to succeed. And what happened was four months ago, I woke up, I was in the shower, I remember it like it was yesterday, and I just said, yep, I'm done. And I was. But I'm a realist. I knew that I was going to need some help. So I went out and bought some of the patches, the transdermal patches that you can put on your chest, your shoulder, wherever, that delivers nicotine to you 24 hours a day. It helps ease the nicotine withdrawal symptoms. And every two weeks, your dose of, or patch changes and you gradually step down to where you're virtually getting no nicotine. But the nicotine is only one aspect. The major aspect that you're going to need to combat is basically the habit of lighting that cigarette or associating different things with the act of smoking or dipping or chewing tobacco. They say that it takes 21 days to break a habit. And so if you're used to every day, you know, 20 times a day, lighting a cigarette and smoking, it might be after a meal, it might be when you get in a car, it might be after you have sex, with yourself. Regardless, that's a habit that needs to be broken. So you got to figure out something else to occupy your time or to associate with those activities. Along with the patch, I decided that I was going to get myself in even better shape than I, the best shape I've been in in years. I was going to start running more, eating healthy, going to the gym more. I was going to get and focus on myself. I also needed to stop drinking alcohol because for me, I associated alcohol with the nicotine. I knew that I'm not strong enough, my willpower isn't great enough for me to continually drink and stay away from the nicotine. So for the past four months, I really haven't drank. And if you stay with it for long enough, eventually you will be nicotine free. If you decide to try and go cold turkey, have fun, it's tough. But the reality is, is that nicotine, when you smoke a cigarette or do a, a chew or tobacco, the nicotine stays in your system for three days. After three days, it's completely out of your system. Now, you might still be having withdrawal, but it's emotional. It's not physical at that point. There's also a supplement I started taking called 5-HTP. It's actually an amino acid that helps the pleasure sensors in your brain and helps release serotonin. When I decided to quit, I also started taking this. It's almost like a natural mood enhancer. And I gotta tell you, it really works. And really, I believe that that was one of the key elements that led to my success. 5-HTP. 
They sell it at any nutrition store. Now I know this video was a little bit more serious, a little bit more heavy than a lot of my videos, but I felt it was important. If one person decides to quit using tobacco or quits an addiction because of watching this, hey, all the time and energy I put into making these videos is well worth it. If anybody's brave enough, I want you to post a video response and tell me what you're giving up, what addiction you're trying to overcome, and what your plan is for overcoming it. It's sort of going to help hold you accountable a little bit, knowing there is a record of it, and uh, hopefully other people will give you support and say, great job, you can do it. You're not going to win anything, except you're going to be a better person. And quite frankly, I can't think of anything more important. Have a great day, and good luck. Bye-bye. All right, there are two links down below and in the sidebar, wherever it may show up. First link, blanklabel.com. Guys, all the money you're saving on not smoking, buy yourself, treat yourself. You deserve at least one shirt that fits you perfectly. You can design it, you custom create it, it gets shipped to you, you're going to look amazing. Blanklabel.com, go check it out. The other link is to one of my subscribers. His name is Gary Reef. He is an artist from Australia that lives in a cabin in a forest in Norway. What he does, he makes beautiful art. A few months ago, Gary approached me and said, Aaron, um, I'm an artist and I would like to know if you'd be okay with me doing a portrait of you. And I said, Gary, are you kidding me? Okay with it? I would love it. <laughs> Actually, I was very humbled and honored because People don't do nice things like that for me all that often. And um, it was just really great. It made me feel great that he would take the time to do this. It turned out amazing. I realized how big and pointy my ears are, but uh, there's a video down below of him actually making the, the portrait of me, and it's pretty awesome. Gary, thanks, buddy. Love you.